everyone, hope you are all doing good. I am a fourth year BSc Honors Nursing student at Ames Raipur. So today I will be doing a chit chat session with one of my seniors and we will be speaking mainly about nurses. So let's go to the video. That the next north set will be on april so those who all are preparing for that uh Chichi will be sharing her experience regarding how she have prepared how she had appeared for the exam all those things so i have prepared a set of questions and i will be asking the same okay <laughs> so it is a little bit tense but anyway <laughs> at the end of the video we will make it more comfortable so the first question <laughs> when did you uh, when was your first attempt for north set Actually, it was in 2022. Like we passed out and uh, we just attended. Like it was, um, I was not even prepared for that exam. So it was just uh, what, just a try trial type exam. Mm. It was in 2022, but it was an easy paper. I think like if we have studied, then we must have it. Okay. So, Chichi, do you have any uh, books that you have referred for Northside or any uh, coaching center that you have uh, attended for your exam? See, books, uh, the thing is, uh, you need to uh, go through the topics that you are studying in the nursing itself, like first year, second year, and third year, ob gyne and all. So those are the main concepts, like the theory portion you need to clear. And then the books, I'll uh, suggest that target high for prelims. And uh, we have this uh, NCLEX RN Saunders book we have, Cushion Bank and Theory also. So theory portion is a little bit vast. But if the person, like if uh, someone is very much into that uh, theory portion, then they can study that theory part. Otherwise, we can go and we can solve the questions. Uh, so it has a little level, like it's a higher kind of questions they are giving. And then other than that, there are, I think uh, you might know that there are many coaching institutions, uh, those who are providing a small test series and all. So, uh, you can attend those free test series and otherwise there are uh, many coaching, uh, like YouTube channels are there, but uh, I, I won't say any names. But uh, it's up to you. Like after all, you need to study. So. Uh, for like most of the students, uh, like uh, do we have to start our preparation from uh, from the first year onwards, or can we do a little bit before our exam? Uh, not a little bit before exam because uh, you need to study more. Like first year, you guys are studying, but still you you will be forgetting all those things. No? So I won't say that you should prepare from first year, but if a first year student is going to attend this exam in future, then the first year portion that they are studying at that period of time, they can uh, focus it more and they can concentrate it more. So it won't affect, like uh, at the end, you don't need to go back and study the whole thing. So uh, same with the second year also, there are a lot of topics like cardiac and all. So you can go through those topics very, uh, like, very effectively at that uh, year itself. So it won't be a burden at the end. And uh, like you should prepare from uh, the beginning of the fourth year itself, I would say, or from the end of the third year. Itself. Because most of the topics are covered from first year, second year and third year. Only a few questions will be asked from the fourth year. Okay. So uh, I know that uh, Titi was preparing during your work time. So how did you balance your work life as well as your study pattern? So we were in contractual uh, here in Ames itself. Uh, after going for this duty and all, we'll be tired. But anyway, we need to crack. So we need to study. So there should be determination to crack this exam because uh, when you work uh, in a contract on a contractual basis, you'll understand that the same thing that a nursing officer uh, does in this uh, Ames, the same work we need to do also, like with the little pay scale. So you will. Uh, not even the pay scale, uh, the same thing goes with the respect also because you are not permanent staff there. So if you need to gain that respect and if you need to uh, have an independent life, then you need to study. So it, the determination will come within yourself also. So, yeah. so like many times, uh, many a times like we will see that we are practicing or we are doing more portions, uh, we are trying so much hard. But at the end of the day, when we are going for exams, we may not be performed well, or the questions uh, may not be familiar with us. So, and you will fail in your attempt. So, what is your, uh, like, what is your motivation for not to give up? Uh, I think for competitive exams, I think stress is the most common factor. 
see if one if one person is stressed like there are a uh, limit of stress you should be stressed to study but you should not be stressed to write an, uh, like before an exam the thing is if you are stressed uh, to study then you will study hard and you will uh, try your best but if you are stressed during your exam period you won't be uh, you won't be able to do that much uh, effectively in your exam so i'll say that like you should be very calm before exam just uh, just pray for some time just listen to music and all uh, just don't overthink the main thing is people used to overthink what if uh, if i fail the most thing is that so i don't think you should not be you should not think like that you should think like this exam is for me and i'll definitely crack so Okay. <laughs> and did you do you follow any study? Did you do you have any study plan, study routine that you have followed during your exams? See, many people they used to tell like they study for three hours continuously, but I won't tell you because um, your brain has a capacity to concentrate over the four or five minutes. So I used to study up to one hour, and then I will go and I will listen uh, some music like a uh, light music and all. Ten for ten minutes, or I will have some snacks uh, in between that. Then I will go again, like for next year. So it will increase the like what we say to increase the productivity. Uh, there is no use if you are continuously studying for three years and if you are tired, like inside you are tired and you are not able to do the questions. So I prefer that you just go and study for one hour, take a few minutes rest, and then again go and study. So you can see like the differences. How it can be with like so. Okay, so what is your uh, advice for the upcoming aspirants who are watching this video? So, uh, advice is what? just prepare and don't overthink. Like, uh, I mean, I was also like that. Just I was like thinking, oh, what if if I fail? So you just not need to think like that. You just need to think like this exam is for me, and I will pass. I will definitely pass. And prepare your and give your hundred percent because if you are not preparing and you are telling like the exams were exams were difficult. See that uh, that won't uh, count. Okay, so it will be nice if you prepare well and uh, if you are attempting that exam well. So it it, uh, it is basically based on how focused you are at that time of exam. So now these days they have made it one and half hour. So it will be more effective because for me three and three hours sitting in an exam, I can't even concentrate those questions. In between, we'll skip one or two questions because we are continuously sitting for three hours. So I feel like one and half hours is be, uh, is a better option that they have introduced. But for many, they think like uh, there are two exams, like prelims and mains. So they think like uh, it is a disadvantage. But I don't think like it is a disadvantage, and don't need to worry. They they have the right to make this uh, like uh, changes and all. But uh, they are just testing our uh, mental strength also, like how much you can endure. They are just testing it to uh, so just show that yes, we can endure because we are nice. <laughs> and also, like, can you please share about like the exam pattern, how the things will be? So there might be some changes now nowadays. So can you please talk about? That? So Norset five was uh, like uh, before. Norset four was uh, like three hour exams, and Norset five was uh, prelims and mains. We have two sections. Now this time they have introduced uh, five sections inside prelims itself, and I think uh, it will be like one section you need to complete within eighteen minutes and all. So after that completion, it's only you can go to the next section. So it is like that. Uh, so no need to worry. Like prelims, they'll be asking just basic questions. Like they'll be asking the size of capital, like all the basic questions, OT, OT instruments, like image they'll be seeing, and they'll be asking all those things. So no need to worry about all those things. Instead, you just uh, worry that whether I have prepared well or not for the exam. So just go through it. Five sections you need to attend, and after clearing prelims, you'll be able to. Uh, Attend the mains exam. So mains, uh, they'll be asking more concept-based questions like case scenarios. They'll be asking. So it will be little uh, what to say. It will be little tricky. But uh, the one who understood the concept, they'll definitely crack it. Mains, I think, because uh, Norset Five was like that. Uh, <laughs> prelims was easy, uh, and mains also like we felt like it was little tricky. But anyway, like. Uh, there, there are, there like there are chances of confusion in mains, but if you are once you are, it is registered in your mind, you will be able to clear it. And what is? Just drink a little uh, fluid, take fluids and food uh, nicely. Just don't skip your meals and all. And don't stress out. Like, um, don't uh, sacrifice your sleep and all, because it won't. 
uh, it will affect badly. Okay? Uh, I think just sleep for at least six hours. At least six hours you should sleep and have a breakfast because it is a brain food. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, like uh, drink fluid, like uh, water you can drink. Uh, in between, uh, like one hour you are studying, then have some water, then study, go to study and all. Because the water, uh, like intake of water will increase your concentration power. So, I hope that you all get an idea regarding how to prepare for your NOSET. So, if you have any comments or if you have any doubts, please let me know through the comment session. So, I hope this video was beneficial for you. Thank you so much, Tati. <laughs> and bye.